So this is Dungeon Man's or Dungeon Man's. I think it's supposed to be a bit like, uh, you know, fisherman or fireman. So Dungeon Man. Anyway, uh, you play as a Dungeon Man who is, uh, or or a lady Dungeon Man, which is weird. But um, yeah, let's just get right into it. It's a roguelike. I've played a little bit. I'm uh, at four. This is my fifth character, Jim the Unhopeful. And uh, you start off here in the Dungeon Man's Academy. And it's like, what, what, it's, it's basically a roguelike, but there is some persistence. So when you've, uh, uh, you know, you get to upgrade things. So I'm getting kind of ahead of myself, but this is the Alchemy Lab. And it says here, we're doing pretty good. So over my last few runs, I've been upgrading things. Um, one of the problems in roguelikes is that, you know, you find all these potions and stuff and scrolls and you're like, I don't know what this does. I'm going to use it and see what it does. Oh, it kills me immediately. So that's great. I mean, I like roguelikes, but I, you know, you can never make any persistent progress. You're always starting from scratch. But the Dungeon Man's Academy here allows you to uh, sort of do things that give you upgrades. Like there's this blacksmith here. You can upgrade your starting weapons and stuff. Uh, there's sort of this, this monster museum, so you can develop monster knowledge. I'm not sure exactly what this does. Maybe it makes these. So I've I've got a lot of monster knowledge for these scrollbolds, which is why it's. Um, I can talk to this guy. How we're doing with monster knowledge? So yeah, I've got rank three of uh, scrollbolds monster knowledge. I'm not sure exactly what that does, but um, I think it makes it easier to to fight them, perhaps. Uh, but yeah, I'm still quite a noob at this game. Uh, this game has just recently come out of Early Access. It's uh, It was in Early Access and uh, yeah, uh, so I've cleared this, so this is the full version now, I've cleared this dungeon here. Let's just go in and have a look. So you get, uh, it's all randomly, the dungeons are randomly generated but they stay the same once you've been in them I think. It's, uh, yeah, I've, I, I played a, a separate world just to make sure the uh, things here. Here's a uh, here's an enemy. Things will be different, so you can just do a standard attack by bumping into them. Uh, there's no character animation, uh, you know. Pop, they move about, but there's no like you know. And this it doesn't matter what weapons I equip. It always shows them as the uh, as this guy or you know different sprites you can choose from. But here's my inventory and stuff I'm wearing. It's pretty standard, roguelike fare. I've got some abilities. Uh, let's see. Masteries, so you can you can upgrade pretty much in any area. You can be, you know, a full mage or a full warrior or a spell sword or anything. So what I've gone with, oh, there's, I like this map. Let me show you this. This map is quite cool because it's got that sort of uh, grid drawn thing uh, aesthetic. Um, but yeah, let's see. I've got some like uh, warrior type actions here, and I've also got. Some magic, so I'm a bit of a spell sword and using two we two weapons, it's kind of cool. Um, yeah, I'm quite liking it. And I have mostly cleared this out, so there's just these stragglers left. Yeah, there's some. Let's use uh, a decoy weapon and a thing, and they'll attack that instead of me for a little bit. And then if I go here and use my lava lance, there we go. Isn't that nice? It's a pretty cool spell effects. But yeah, you're not going to be playing this for the graphics, it's really. Uh, all about the gameplay. So, um, it reminds me of Ancient Domains of Mystery, which I didn't play, but I saw Dreddy play on her channel. Uh, two buttons are enough. And, uh, kill you. Oh, yeah, and of course, there's so much loot to get. Uh, not right now, but because I've mostly cleared this place out. Oh, look, but there's a spear. Oh, and some sandals. Lovely. Right. So, yeah, I've, I've, I'm pretty much, you can see up here, it tells you what kind of challenge this area poses. So this isn't much of a challenge, so let's go somewhere else. So I've cleared this out. Um, there's a pretty, st like, I've, I'm pretty sure this overworld is always the same, but the contents of each of these areas are different. That little ghost icon there, I think that means that's where one of my other heroes died. You can, if you find, like, the site where your character died before, you can, um, like collect it and if they're pretty powerful it gives you some bonuses and stuff so yeah it kind of gets around the kind of annoying re repetition of um, roguelikes in some ways in that you can uh, you can make some progress you can upgrade your starting status kind of like rogue legacy in that way I've cleared up the first level here and there's some 
I think I've actually cleared the second level, so I've only got the, there seems to be three levels to both of these areas, so uh, yeah. Oh god, I don't even know what that is. What is that? Splotch! It's a splotch horror! Oh dear, okay, I think I'm gonna distract it with that. And then, what's, I forgot what this does. Dashing charge, no, I can't do that right now. Uh, let's just hit it. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, so yeah, this is really good decoy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, let's see, where's these stairs down? The stairs down or up there? Oh, there's some of these ruffians. I will, uh, see now that, that, oh yeah, see, she's got this, this ability that sort of drags me in with this whip. Chain banger. <laughs> and a street jit. Okay, let's use this, Razor Fury. That does damage to both of them and uh, gives me some bonuses to dodge. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and my challenge has gone up to mundane, which means, you know, it's not terrible, but it's uh, ah, now adventurous. This is actually a bit difficult. Uh, and this is, as you can see, I have not explored this at all. Now, this guy, I believe he throws bombs. He's a gutter chemist. <laughs> Oh, but he didn't last very long. I think he must be a bit of a glass cannon. Oh, yeah, that helps you a lot. Oh god, there's the bomb. Okay, you got to get away from it in time. And <laughs> you damaged your own guy. Brilliant. Oh, two of them. <laughs> oh no, she dragged me into the fire. And she dragged me out of the fire. Hey, are you on my side? <laughs> okay, let's do this. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah, it's uh, so much loot. And uh, ooh, I can use that, but I don't think it's better because see minus two minus four and it's not identified either um, yeah one cool thing you can do is the sort of headmaster at the dungeon of the academy can just identify everything for you immediately I'm gonna keep an eye on my oh I'm bleeding shit uh, let's see how hurt is he he's wounded let's try to dispatch him and then oh okay all right I'm gonna distract her with that she flung that about. Oh my god, she flung around the decoy. Okay, wow. Um, oh, I'm not bleeding anymore. But I am a little bit hurt, but I'm okay. Let's just do this. Lava lots. <laughs> so yeah, you got stamina, magic, health, all sorts of stuff. you got some money. And yeah, it's, it's not anything too original, but um, it's done very nicely. I, really, I quite like it. It's kind of addictive. Oh god, they're really... Ganging up on me here, but I think I can take them. Oh, debuff. Jim and Hopeful's defenses are shattered. Armor and block are greatly reduced. Okay, well, let's distract them again. I like. Uh, oh, <laughs> this threw a bomb. Uh, I like that you can mix um, different types of abilities because some of these abilities use stamina and some of them use. Uh, let's actually use the dashing charge. Oh, I can't really. I can still do that. Yeah. Oh, I'm not going to run into the fire though. That's no good. Um, oh, I'm getting surrounded. Just, just wait for them all to close in and then do that. There we go. Now my dodge is up. And I can charge with this to get away from them. Oh, uh, yeah. And I do that kind of back and forth crazy thing. Oh, blimey. Okay, this is an ideal time to use a lava lance I think because I get all of them and I push them away smack you oh dear run away boom yeah oh dear I'm getting hurt uh, yeah so as you can see this is a little bit challenging I'm losing some health should I use an item I have a bark skin potion flickering mana thingy lesser champion lesser healing let's just use that yeah, that's fine oh it gives me some health regen over time it seems I'll just wait for that to die down. Oh god. Oh, that was just a missile weapon. Okay. Uh, oh god, they've really buffed themselves up. What did they do? Violent fervor. <laughs> did that help you? Oh, look at all that loot. So looty. Yeah. Um, and at the end of the dungeon, I believe there's a boss. At least there was in the last one. Oh no! It's a big ass bee. Oh, that's going to poison me or something, isn't it? So let's just... Oh, I don't have any mana. Shit. Okay. Oh. He's not... Uh... Let's try this. Oh, that's just a dash. Um, let's try this. Oh. I ended on its square. It's running away from me. It doesn't want to fight. Huh. Alright, well... Oh, blimey. Oh, now it wants to attack. Now that it's got the... Uh... 
Oh, power crits. Oh, it's because it's ranged. That's why. Yeah, ranged enemies try to get away from you. And then, oh look, she dropped her skirt. Uh, actually, let's run away from that. And then he runs into it. She, can we tell, in the fire. Oh. Okay, oh god. <laughs> Those bombs are really big. It's, <laughs> it's ridiculous. But you know, it's, it's good that you can. There's no. There's no uncertainty about whether you've had a bomb thrown at you. So let's see. I can go this way. Ah. Yeah, it looks like a pretty decent sized world to explore, and it's a different character class to take. I tried being just a mage, but you're so squishy. Um, I think. Oh dear. Yeah. Let's do that again. I think my mana regenerates pretty slowly because I'm not like a uh, complete mage. Oh god. Kill you. Let's do. No. Can I do this? Oh no, it's too much. Okay. Oh look! Look at the, look at the bunny rabbit! It's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> it is the rabbit. Thing to break open and stuff to get. Yeah, and if uh, if you want to sell stuff, you could. Mm, something secret. I'm not sure how to find secrets. I can look around, but I don't know what it really does. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, there's not much of a tutorial. Um, you just have to kind of go into the help, which is here, and it just tells you, you know. Stuff like that, gameplay basics, and list of stuff. So that's not great, but um, it's fine. If you've played a rogue, like you pretty much know what you're doing. It's not as bad as like Powder, which has like, so many bloody, um, which is another rogue, like which has so many controls that some of them, oh blimey, some of them have to be. Oh, oh, it's the boss. Oi now, time to get your tea cosy, blagged in spots and whiskers, eh, gov? What are you talking about? Oh, I, just, I didn't even read that. <laughs> Go get a refund from whoever sold you all those vowels. Yeah. Um, okay, so it looks like she dragged me in, and then she dragged me in, and now I'm standing on a bomb surrounded by bees and bastards, and yeah, I'm kind of fucked. 